in this video, we will try to explore alternative ways of doing multiple tasks at almost the same time using the time module. Let me first tackle creating delays in MicroPython which is achieved by using the time.sleep value in seconds. But first, let's import the time module. And let's use the time that is sleep, let's say, 2 seconds. What happens here is the microcontroller is let to sleep for 2 seconds, doing nothing, and the code after the sleep will be executed only after the set sleep value is achieved. And that was called a blocking code. Another option of this blocking delays with more resolution is the time that is sleep underscore ms which is in milliseconds resolution let's say 100 milliseconds or the more precise is the sleep time that sleep us in microseconds Using these delays is okay. When your code contains a single task, like blinking an LED. But what if you need to check a bunch of button switches, read a set of sensors, control a different set of outputs, and send the readings for the end users? Definitely, you cannot use that blocking code. It's impossible. What we can do is to use a timed, multi-threaded task to execute. But first, let's see the basics. Let's create the example number one. For example number one, we will review the Blink LED example, which is we learned by using the import machine import time module then we create the LED module in GPIO2 machine that pin that out then we create a while loop here while true and we turn on the LED we set a time that sleep for 500 milliseconds 0 0.5 we turn off the LED and time that sleep for 0 0.5 seconds let's save this one T009 underscore TX01 Let's call it blinking LED blocking that pi. Let's run it. Which will let the onboard LED to toggle its state every 500 milliseconds. But as I said earlier, Time that sleep is a blocking code. Blocking code means you cannot do other tasks until the sleep time expires. Now let's convert this code into an unblocking code. Let me copy and paste this one. Let's create a new file. Save us to computer t009 underscore 0x02 blinking LED which is by now a non-blocking dot pi here let me create a global variable let's call it start time and let's get the current time by using time that ticks in milliseconds 
which basically takes the current time and save it to the start time variable. Let's create a global variable interval. Let's say 500, which will be equivalent to 500 milliseconds for the, our blinking and LED. And let's create another variable, LED state. And let's initialize it to 0. Here, let me delete this one. In here, we will check if the time that ticks ms minus the start time is greater than or equal to the to the set interval if it is if it is save again the new start time time that ticks ms And let's check if the L E D state is equal equal to one. Then we invert the L E D state. Else L E D state equal one. And here we set the LED, that value, to the LED state. Let's save this one. Let's stop. And run. And as you can see, the LED is now blinking every 500 milliseconds. But this time, our code is now a non-blocking code. This implementation of preventing the use of blocking code is very similar to the use of MILIS function in Arduino. Now for example number 3, let me tackle a more complex example that will demonstrate the use of time module on a multi-threaded task. I have here an ESP32 development board connected to a breadboard with three LEDs, namely red, green, and blue, with limiting resistors so that, to prevent burning our LED. And we have four tactile button switches, which are configured as an active low. Meaning, if you press this switch, the ground will flow to the pins. I also prepared the source code named Tutorial 009, Example 3, which I call multi-trading.py. So we begin by importing the necessary modules that we will be using, which are the machine module to access the hardware, the time module to access the time, and these are the LEDs, namely red for, for the red LED, GRN for the green LED, and BLU for the blue LED, which are connected to GPIO 27, 26, and 25. And we set the pin direction as an output. We also have the objects mode left, RGHT for, for the right button and ENTER, ENTR, which are connected to GPIO 33, 32, 35, and 34. As you may notice, GPIO 33 and 32, we use internal pull-up, this one. As you may notice, we have another parameter here, which is machine that pin that pull-up. This enables the internal full up of the ESP32. While for the pin 35 and 34, we do not use the internal pull up because it is 
not available in ESP32. What we do is we use an external 10 kilo ohms resistor connected to BCC which functions the same as internal pull up. Here we, t we save the start time by getting the current time using the time module. We have no need for this reset. We have here a global variable. And these are the default values for the interval. For the red is 300 milliseconds. For the green is 500 milliseconds. And for the blue, it's 700 milliseconds. And for the key interval, we use 200 milliseconds to check for the button presses, for button press. And we have a global variable state which holds the value of current mode. We can have a mode 0, 1, 2, and 3. Set the edit resolution to 10 for increasing or decreasing the interval value of selected mode. And when we run this one, we print the default interval values before going inside our main loop. In the main loop, we have four threads, which is one for the red, this is for the red, this is for the green, the blue, and also for the key, or checking of the buttons. We just check the difference of the time. If it's equal or more than to the interval, we just toggle the value of the LED, and we save again the current time, which are similar to all other threads. To better demonstrate further this code, let me first run this current uh, source code. So currently, our LEDs, the red LED is blinking every 300 milliseconds, the green every 500 milliseconds, and the blue every 700 milliseconds. If the mode switch is pressed, it will become red edit mode. Basically, you can toggle currently red, it will become green and blue, and it goes back to idle mode. So these are the codes. So, let's go. Currently, it's in idle mode. Let's go to red mode, red edit mode. And let's modify the interval using the left or right buttons. So, the, this left button will decrease the interval. This one will increase. So, let me press this one. Currently... 300 milliseconds, now we are decreasing this one to let's say 30. As you can see, the red LED is now blinking very fast. We can increment this one to slow it down. Or we can change the mode. Now green. Let's decrease also. As you may notice, all other LEDs is still blinking at the same rate. We can change the blue. Currently, now blue edit mode. Let's decrease also to a fast blinking.
and when it reaches 10 it will not blink when the value is 20 milliseconds we can still see the blinking or maybe 30 and the last switch will basically reset back to the default values let me press this one and the intervals will be resetted to the default values and as you can see our LED is blinking same as before so that's it that's all for now if you have any question regarding this tutorial Please write your inquiry in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me thumbs up by clicking the like button and share this to your friends so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. And if you are not yet subscribed, please do subscribe now. You might also like to visit my blog post at tech.tinker.blogspot.com for more details and references such as circuit diagram and source code. Thank you and have a good days ahead. See you in the next video. Stay safe everyone. Bye.